Okay. What are you doing that for? Look at all this fog of war. If they... Oh, never mind. It's 140. I thought it was... Yeah. Okay, okay. That's fine. I, I think I was debating to take one small... Yeah, just be, ca be careful about walking up into the fog yeah. of war. I was debating to taking one small raptor. Oh, one small raptor? Okay. Yeah. But I don't know how efficient yeah. it is. Because yeah. I... Your full team would actually have to five point. Like, they would actually all have to get in formation and see the enemy team on the oh. map, or at least have a hunch of where they are for you to do that. It's too risky otherwise. Like, the jungler and top laner could just be sitting in the vault, or in that brush spamming emotes or something. Let me see how you approach, approached lane. Okay, so you did this, you came here. Instantly? No, you should wait for your auto. Auto this, Q, and then, like, start walking this way, Q the next minion, oh, and okay. hit him with your empowered auto, and then kite back and sit in that pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you do that, and, the like, you sit in this pocket after you auto him, you break the minion leash... For, it's like 300 range, so you have to just get 300 range away, so it's like in this pocket, we've in and out, after you hit him with that. And now you have these three casters still pushing onto the next wave, and now you can move up and position more aggressively onto the wave. Especially since you're going to be getting your level 2 in 1 minion, and so if he doesn't just concede and give you the entire pressure on the wave and pretty much just sit at his tower, then you're going to be able to destroy his HP, right? Yeah. So yeah, right now you're really not playing the lane um, with like the control and dominance that you could be playing it, you know what I mean? <laughs> a really good way to see this in action, um, I don't know if you know, apparently, uh, another one of my students didn't know either, I thought it was pretty common knowledge, but Faker streams on Azubu. So, oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, like, you I should always try videos. to watch, uh, yeah, like especially if you want to get better at Victor as a champion also, just look at good... Um, Pro players play him in his uh, matchups, and then ask yourself why they do what they do at every step of the way. But like, look, you're just giving this melee champion uh, control of the lane. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hold that Q. Don't don't get used to just CSing with your Q. That's really bad. Like, if you think about it, if you just auto that minion, then you can use the Q shield against him and to get the damage on it as well. Yeah. It lasts a little bit longer because you actually hit him with it as soon as he comes to you. It's like buffered. Uh, use your shield. I don't know. That was all pretty sloppy, honestly. Yeah, it was. But what should have happened was you chase him with the ghost, and when he flashes over, you just walk away, and then you just shut him out of the lane like this. You don't need to walk back into him. Don't get into his range. Play around the ranges. Okay. Uh, yeah, you should, you should push uh. this for sure. You don't have to take notes on this now or anything, by the way. Um, Avad's gonna be up. Uh, so yeah, if you if there's any <coughs> yeah if there's anything that I go over too fast, it will be in here. You can also ask questions, of course. Um, okay, so here you should definitely get a Negatron. Yeah, that's probably refillable. I, Negatron oh, refillable. I, I didn't get refillable. You should get refillable for sure here. I don't think I was running the mastery too. No, Either way, I mean it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's still like refillable, still good to have for now, all the way up to like 15 or so minutes, even onwards potentially. It's gonna be useful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Would you recommend starting off the game with? It's like it's like you know how sometimes people used to go um, double Dorans or like still do for the ring in certain matchups. Yeah. It's like a smaller version of that, but it's like. Yeah, super cheap, super efficient. You don't have to buy potions again for pretty much the rest of the game. Because by the time that you're, like, done with it, your inventory slots are out. And you can only, like, carry a pink with the rest of your items, or maybe not even that, because you have components, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could have prepped that minion better for yourself a little bit there. You know what I mean? Like, if you yeah. had queued the bottom one and then, yeah. I guess you don't want to waste that much mana for one minion, depending on how the lane is forming. 
No, you could have you could have eat there easily. You just shied away way too fast. Like you could check Udyr probably yeah, he has ghosts. He doesn't even have a flash. He can't even like flash stun yeah. you. And he goes already uh... used his W. Oh. Yeah. So he has yeah, he can actually just get onto you. You don't have to play from that far back and be that safe, you know what I mean? You could have chunked him way harder, and that could have even changed the dynamic of the jungle matchup and helped ease a lot of pressure off of Hecarim, who's a low pressure uh like farm early jungler against Udyr for most of the matchup. What you're going to want to do is put your pink here and then put your trinket ward on the wraiths. Okay? Yeah. Gives you really good uh, field of vision. Okay. I like the F king, actually. Nice. Do you play any Twisted Fate? No, you said you've been just spamming Victor. Uh, I wanted to learn him, but I figured the... He's too he's too high skill cap honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I Once didn't you get to decide. like once you get to like consistent maybe D3 plus we can add him to your pool a little bit. Like once you actually really understand laning mechanics at least it'll be a good time. Okay. Uh -huh. Honestly, the way you're playing this matchup and somehow letting a bully or a mid laner bully or melee mid laner bully you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You would have been better off with TP or something, like just to get the early backs in and conserve your mana, etc. Or regen your mana. And then, yeah, you looking at bot lane even. Not on that. Alright, you can base for, uh... No, stop. You have 30 mana. What are you doing? Yeah, doing? yeah, I wanted to base, but then... You're wasting so fuck, much everyone's time. everyone's pinging. Yeah, you're wasting so much time. What are you gonna do? Auto attack as victory? <laughs> Ghost and orb walk into him. Oh hell yeah, dude. That's yeah, exactly no. what we're looking for. Um, but yeah. Alright. So you got your upgrade, that's real good. Your CS is very low. His yeah. is somehow lower, but yeah, yours could be probably about fifteen to twenty higher. At least. Alright. Nice. That feels good right there, doesn't it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Especially when a big wave comes. You pick mm. it up. Alright, that's a good word to place there. You want to be, like, rounding... Okay, wait, did you just see Echo Bot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I shove did. the wave hard, shove the wave. Yeah. I, I don't That's know how. That's why Olaf was mid there, because he was just shoving out the wave mid without having to like fight a laner. Because otherwise he would have had to lane against Trinomir for his CS. Okay. And then he's yeah that sets up the skank also. Because the Trinomir obviously just stun pushes when no one's in there. Without thinking about where his laner was. Okay. Um, go down, help them finish drag. Then ping Hecarim to sit in this bush with you. That one right there. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should literally ping him to just sit there. And when Echo goes mid, especially if he had used his ult during the fight in bot, it's a free kill. Alright, so, either way, he still probably at least has to use his summoners. Even if he has to just use ult, then you have way higher threat on him. You know what I mean? 
Oh boy. He just gifted you that one, didn't he? Yeah. He did. Interesting. Uh, you have to be careful for Udyr here. But Bard's not really positioned in a way that... Yeah, shows that Udyr is there at all. Alright, what are you gonna get here, pal? Hmm, okay. I was thinking, uh... Boots, because of the... The... The you could have honestly went. You could have honestly went boots one, and then uh, blasting wand, and then done. Uh, well, wait. No, never mind. Never mind. Not blasting wand. Um, yeah, it, your choice was either do this upgrade or get lucidities right now. Yeah. Um. And then I would honestly say, after the first, you can keep the same core as pre-nerf Victor. For the most part. After the first upgrade, you can just get Rylai's and then finish out the rest of your upgrades. Because that way the scaling AP is higher by the time that you actually finish it off, you know? And yeah. Rylai's are just so busted as an item right now. Like, yeah, especially in team a rush. That, that yeah. item is like a fucking... I don't know, dude. It is way too gold efficient and everything efficient. Honestly, it's disgusting. Sometimes I feel like I'm not getting it early enough. Yeah, exactly. Because so I you feel can, like you the game isn't going to break out. Yeah. Do, um... You have, like, huge impact with first upgrade and then do Rylai after. So you would hold the Negatron cloak here? Yeah, keep it. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can turn it into Abyssal after you have Rylai's in your third upgrade for sure, though. Okay. Yeah, he, he gives us the kill again. <laughs> Interesting player, man. Ooh, ooh. Alright. Either wave, as soon as it comes up, dude. Hover his blue buff with this Nautilus. Since they obviously have priority, like I think they're about only need their base or something. And Nautilus is just getting a free roam. I don't see why he would be walking with that much confidence otherwise. Holy moly. Alright. I think here. What do we do with the itemization, man? What do you think? I think. Finish it off, and then yeah. get boots. Okay, fair. I like it. I mean, for now, since you already invested into, you know, the second, like, just finish it off, because it's cheap now to finish, since 750, right? Yeah. First upgrade was 1250. Yeah. So it's... you might as well, yeah, finish it off, and then, um... You know what? Go Merc Treads this game. I don't think I do. No. You should though, yeah. Merc Treads would be really good here. Like, really good, dude. Now that I'm thinking about it. You'd be an unstoppable machine with Merc Treads. Like, it's actually scary thinking about. You should pink ward that brush that you just walked through. Uh, I guess, okay, no. There is fine for Udyr. One left to that. I'll give you that. Good. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it. I mean, but now you see what side he's on. You can lean over to the yeah. right side and you have your ghost. So, I mean, you could just shove this in, honestly, and then... Shove this in, and since you know he's around mid-side, you know how you punish this, okay? He's top side. He's not going to be able to answer any moves bot side. But he would be able to answer any moves towards the tower mid. So you shove this wave in, and then you go bot side, because you know you have no resistance there, a little to none, um, if you get the numbers advantage, which you already have Hecarim also, meaning it's 4v2, yeah. meaning you can definitely dive. You can honestly probably dive with just 3v2 with Nautilus. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to go in on me, but that you... Nah, dude, you got to know the range is better. You can't... No, don't use mana on this camp, dude. 
You need to shove the wave mid and still have enough mana to be very useful bot lane for like two to three waves. Potentially. Especially because now Hecarim could rotate if you had to have an extended stay in bot. Does this seem like a lot? No. So far? Okay. No. It's just being able to see all of this in game. Yeah, for sure. Alright, it's fine that uh, he based here since you can deny so much. I would pressure the tower. Oh. Yeah, look, dude. Like, you have Udyr's at his blue. Echo's not going to be back for 30 seconds or so, maybe a little less. No, you do not get Abyssal next. Uh, oh, I do. Shoot. Unlucky, man. Why didn't he condemn earlier? Okay. Maybe cool down. Okay, okay. See, and the thing is, if you had stayed mid, even for them going full Fiesta bot and then Echo following, right, like he just did, you would get to deny another wave already and be at the tower still. Do you see this? Yeah. Like, you could have even better pacing on this push here. That's, like, huge. Okay. No. No. What? What are you doing? Stop. You literally didn't even shove the wave that was right in front of you mid lane. That's a guaranteed gain for you. Alright, so I get it. He gives you kills. Fine. But if There's you no shove the wave in mid... He's, it's literally worth, like, okay, think about it this way. Each wave is six to seven minions, all right? Let's say the mid, I forgot if there was a cannon or not. Let's say one of them was a cannon wave. So 13 minions total times the average 20. It's actually a little more if you do have a cannon, but anyway. So 13 times 20, that's literally 260. That's already guaranteed, that's already guaranteed the, as much gold as you would have gotten with the kill. You could have gotten hits on the tower as well, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. not begging for the guy to make another stupid play, which, if you're looking to increase ranks, as you increase ranks, people will make less and less stupid plays, believe it or not. Even though, like, yeah, Diamond is still hellhole, but... Yeah, you can't, you can't just... Uh, I mean, you do want to play against, like, to punish the opponent's mistakes in solo queue. Don't get me wrong, that's what you're supposed to do. But you want to do it... Not in this fashion. In this fashion, you want to be like as optimal as possible. So, yeah, take the safe gains, man. I lecture a lot. I don't know if you noticed. No, no, it's fine. My uncle was really hard on me when I played baseball. When you what? When I played baseball. Oh, got you. Yeah, he would like go off. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. I, he I wouldn't played, sugarcoat. I played uh, football and rugby, so. American football that is for the yeah. non for the non US viewers. Alright. No, go go to go to the dragon, dude. Go to the dragon. No. Do not fuck with that. There's no need Okay, so they're being idiots and they're just doing that there. He's taking damage from this ocean drake and being slowed by it at the same time. You should definitely be one v oneing him instead of trying to go for a three v three where they're already fleeing. And you don't have any CC to back you up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, was just sitting back, he couldn't do anything. Yeah, your boy didn't even get Dragon, right? No. Uh. Unfortunate. Which Dragon do you guys have, though? Uh... I forget. This oh, game was like, it's like four days ago. Ocean. Uh. Uh, oh, double ocean. That feels good, man. Okay. What? Why would he tell me? Okay. Uh, 
I think, honestly, you should have a blue trinket. Because they have way too much pick potential right now. Like, in any situation that you would be able to sweep anything, you would already be with your team where your jungler and support already have sweepers, presumably, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you don't you don't really need an extra... Do they have them? Yeah, see. Well, no. Uh, at least the support does, and then you can just carry pinks with you, honestly. It'd be totally fine. Oh my goodness, you can't just ignore the can. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. I, oh, I whiffed everything in this fight. Imagine if you had uh, Rylai's, dude. Yeah. Holy shit, imagine if you had Rylai's. Versus that team, too. Look at the melees, man. Three melees for their mid, mid top jungle. Yeah, that would be really useful. You got sauced, man. I'm sorry to say, but you absolutely <laughs> positively got sauced. But you know what? This Ezreal was dumb enough to eat into you, so. Did you say you lost this game? Yeah, I lost this game. That's very interesting to hear. Uh, yeah, a big portion of it was me, but uh, either you're winning or learning, Holy right? Holy shit, dude, you act like you're allergic to cannon minions or something, I swear. <laughs> like, if you touch a cannon minion, you'll get, like, <laughs> stage 2 AIDS or something from touching the, uh... <laughs> or getting near it. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't get that gold, my man. No, get a pink, not a potion. What are you doing? Vision means so much more right now. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess... No, no, man. You don't have Rylai's. You can't do that. I have Rylai's. Wait, you do, actually. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't see the animation on Udyr because he walked through the bush, so I assumed that you didn't have it. I totally just missed out on the young item shop. Okay. Either way, I think it's risky because there was so much fog of war in mid, and then on this side right here. Like, because this is just a blue trinket ward, so you actually don't have that much vision of this nook. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, in this stage of the game, you're better off running through with your team. The issue was that Hecarim really missed position and had to ult out, so then you should just be out also. Don't risk moving up there, especially uh, with the Fog of War. <sighs> Tell me you get a death cap next. Uh, I forget what I bought after. I think it's a death cap. Or I was looking at their items if they had them or. Man, you really should have got mercury treads. It's okay. Have you ever considered them as an actual, like, option for mid laners? Uh, I thought about it, but didn't really consider it. Okay. Oh, this is where the game turns.
No, why didn't you E them? You should just E them as soon as you got into range. You're, like, you're legit waiting way too long, you know what I mean? Like, to use your initial E. When you get in range, use it. Especially now that you have uh, the double proc of it with the Rylize. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, I can see how this would be where the game turned. Uh, actually, don't get Death Cap. Get a Lich Bane here. This is one place I'd actually say it's good. Oh, what? 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 Does he actually do it, the boy? <laughs> I don't think I, I did. Uh, I think I went void stuff. Disappointed. Did they have yeah. a lot of MR? Uh, there's your top screen. Uh, let's see. I'm scratching my eyes. It's just... Oh, yeah, they do. They have a ton of it. Yeah, 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 that's a good call. I, uh, for some reason thought that they weren't. I should have, yeah, checked that, uh... You actually tab a lot. That's the thing. I'm used to first-time students not tabbing at all, so usually I just... Yeah, don't even A lot of notice. times when I tab, is I'm resetting my hand when I use the F keys. Oh, okay. That's yeah. fine, too. Are, are you checking for the information, though, during that time? On tabbing? Yeah. Uh, depending if I'm... If something specific, I'm Did checking. you literally have a Flame Horizon on mid and you didn't even abuse him half as hard as you could have? <laughs> uh... By the way, if you got the six item build, what would happen here is you get a Rabidons for your sixth item after a void, and then you sell your Abyssal for a Lich Bane when you can. Okay? Ah, uh, okay. Mathematically, that's the best build for you this game, and theoretically as well. Would the MR not be needed? No, you don't need it at that point. Oh. Uh. You just have to position well. Can you do that? Yeah, unless I fuck up. Well, isn't that the story for everyone, though? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Stop! I'm getting mental boom, dude. Do you know what mental boom is? No. That sounds scary. Shit, man. Well, I'm not saying anything strictly because I feel like I don't really need to. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like me explaining to you what parts of that were bad would be almost insulting to you. Because <laughs> you probably already understand that, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but either way, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, I think the key point to take away, actually, from all these times where I'm acting appalled um, like this, when I actually am, um, the, the one thing to take away from all these times, pretty much, every single time, the recurring theme, the constant, is um, you're pretty much following your teammate into a bad situation that they already put themselves in. Does that make sense? Yeah. A really big part of climbing solo queue and learning in general is not to make a mistake after your teammate does. Because it is, in one way or another, a form of tilt or playing as if you're tilted at the very least. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, even if you're not actually, like, tilted psychologically speaking. Um, yeah. You wouldn't be performing at 100%. Which, those are your two deaths. 
and then also the points that turned the game because they got two kills on the most fed figure in the game. Oh my goodness. You shouldn't have turned around either. Um, I mean, well, the thing is, you shouldn't have even walked up as far as they do, right? Let them walk up and move. Like, it's not a lesson Trindamir. They're going to live through whatever. You can't be with them. Like, they're moved up like this, and you're, like, up here, dude. You're, like, the quarterback right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, quick going. You ain't fucking Tim Tebow, dude. <laughs> you think you're, like... You know who Tim Tebow is from, like, from yeah. his Gator days? You ain't fucking uh, Mike Vick, dude. And they got Tom Brady on the other team, though. Right now, right now, you're, like, RG3 when he was still in the Division Three college. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, don't, I'm just kidding. <laughs> even, if you were what, even if you were that skilled at this game, though, it would still be a bad thing to do, so... Um, yeah, just let your front line sit in front of you. That's one thing, actually, that I had a problem with as a player. I'll give you a little tidbit about myself. I made 80 carry, and a lot of times, since I was a shot caller on the team I played with with my friends, like, for tournaments and stuff, I would be playing Lucian and shit, and we're, like, all, like, Master D1 players, so, yeah, we're pretty shitty, but, like, we're not as shitty as, like, a lot of people, but we're still pretty shitty. But, yeah, yeah so my biggest issue as a player, which I could never fix, um was that, yeah, I would uh, be shot calling to my tanks, and then I'd walk up in the same line as them, you know what I mean? Because I'm used to them, or I, I want to engage with them, pretty much. But the thing is, I always had to remind myself, wait, I'm actually, like, moving way too far up. I should sit back behind them, even though I'm shot calling to them. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to be in the same range as your tanks to deal damage. You, you, you have to remember that, like... Your tanks are melee, right? And they have dashes to get out, and they're tanky, or they have, like, Trindamir has his ult to survive. So they have reasons to be up as far as they are. You don't. Make sense? Yeah. I mean, the game has been lost several times already, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is just us watching the slow <laughs> roast of it. Because the fact of the matter is, now even though you have a vein, their front line survives longer than yours does. Because they got so fed off of those fights. And then they also have more utility and um, a shit ton of mobility, which snowballs really hard and is really good in the silo. You should ping your summoner spells. That's one thing you haven't done at all, actually. Um, for bot laners, it's more important... I mean, it's important to ping everything, but... Uh, bot laners a lot of the time, and you can also do this to time stuff with your jungler, is um, they ping like their uh, gold, and then now in this new patch you can actually ping an item in the shop to show how much gold you need until you get it. Yeah. That's pretty big. It'll, it'll tell your teammates if you have to stay around and uh, yeah, communication is key. Um, oh. Oof. No, it's a bad stun. You could have walked up, like, right... So the stun was here, right? Yeah. You could have walked up, like, right here, maybe, and then put the W right there. And just cut... Like, you could put the E through first, or whatever, to slow them, 
so that you get the W off without them being able to jump on you right away, and then you walk out. That way, they're slowed as your team is coming up, and then if you guys want to re-engage, it becomes a possibility. Did you just uh, tap out? I don't think I did. We'll be watching that FPS from now on when you're just uh, standing around, man. Watch out. See, like, that's dangerous. Yeah, and I... It paid. The ultimate price. Yep. Dang. Okay, so your team aced them somehow while you were dead. Yeah, Fane went untouched. That... Neato. Alright. Yeah, Nash is the right move. Start going up the top to shove the wave now. I think I missed that cannon too. Oop, I noticed. <laughs> Alright, don't walk up past your tanks. Mm -mm -mm. Like, you guys are S5 now, you need to be in formation. Imagine, like, a platoon of soldiers is, like, marching for the queen or whatever on her birthday. And you're one of the soldiers and you just decide, like, dude, fuck the queen. I'm just gonna run around and do whatever the hell I want in front of everybody. <laughs> you're, that, you're that rude soldier, dude. Alright, you dodged the bard ult this time, though. Hell yeah. You should ghost. You could have ghosted into there and then thrown your ult... And gotten out before uh, Olaf and uh, Udyr could get on you. All right. As soon as, as soon as they split, one thing about Victor, um, this is really important actually. As soon as enemies split away after your W, like if you don't have your W or whatever, like when your ult is already set, right? Yeah. You have to already have in mind beforehand who you're gonna like follow with your ultimate, because now especially that it's slower, right? You have to already pre-plan, um, like, where the ult is going to go after the initial burst. And and if they split, right? So keep that in mind always. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Need a wave. I wasn't paying to uh, paying attention to the death timers at this um, part. You should have been mashing Q on him. Uh, there's not much else you could have done, but 
If he somehow had godlike Unreal APM and uh, he fucked up part of his Q, you might have been able to like Q him for the move speed and then instant DI out of the location you were at for uh, the stun. I don't think so though. It was pretty guaranteed death. But either way, you should always uh, prepare for whatever it is that will allow you to survive the longest because every second counts. Like whether your team is going to get there or... It gives them more time to rotate. Live as long as possible. He actually shouldn't do this. Yeah. Why did he do that, dude? Uh, I guess, yeah, that's a Okay. Um... You can walk up with her, honestly, and just near the opposite side. Especially since you have ghosts, both of you have enough mobility to just walk up and like dual thread it. Well, all right. Any questions? Um. So right now, I should just focus on like not jumping off that bridge with my team. Exactly, and then also the stuff we talked about in lane. There was honestly so much, dude. Like you're really yeah. gonna have to. I might honestly give you two weeks till the next session for you to actually be able to take all the notes on this and then try to improve on them, like game per game. You know. Um, and you can just report back to me, and if, like, after one week you feel like you've significantly improved at one or two things, or, you know, you need some more help, then, yeah, we could definitely do another session next week. Yeah, because, um, like, right now, I feel like the two biggest things is, uh, falling my team into a bad decision and holding my spells too much. That too, yeah, that's pretty big. Holding your spells and not knowing, um, where to position. Those are three really big things. Okay. So, yeah. Alright, man. I'll, uh, are you okay with this being public uploaded to YouTube, or do you want it unlisted? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't mind if it's uploaded. Okay, cool. Um, I'll send you the link when it's up there, man. Okay. Alrighty, thanks so Thank much. Thank you.